It was Napoleon who said that in politics, stupidity is not a handicap. Now, I am still getting indigestion from the CAQ's odious idea to expel newcomers who aren't up to snuff on everything Quebecois after being here for a few years. Now, it's a long way to Election Day, but the trends are favoring the CAQ. The election website QC125 gives the Legoists a razor-thin majority. The CAQ would take 63 seats, the Liberals 43, the PQ 15, and the Solidaires 4. Now it's still early in the game. In the last decade, I would say every election in Canada, federal and provincial, uh, did not end the way it started in the, in the poll numbers. So right now, you could say that the CAQ is speaking early. And we theoretically could have a government with no representation from the island of Montreal. Think about it. It's a little scary that the province would be run by Les Régions and La Capitale Nationale. There has always been a suspicion about La Metropole by the CAQ crowd. Montreal has people who are different. They aren't all white and they don't all parlez-vous all the time. Now, the latest Léger survey found something even more revealing. It found that 69% of Quebecers want a change of government. And when change becomes the issue, it's almost impossible to fight it. So let's just take a closer look at what the CAQ is proposing. Yes, they want to corner the market on identity politics, but there is much more within their words a new agenda for Quebec nationalists. The CAQ pledges to toughen Bill 101. One of the promises is to make federally chartered companies subject to the language charter. Now, I wonder if Justin would give in on that one. And it wants Ottawa to butt out of cultural funding. Just send the check to Quebec City. Merci. And this list of demands for new powers reminds me of an open bar or buffet at an all-inclusive. More, more, and more. Everything from the power to appoint judges to the Supreme Court to demanding more tax revenue from Ottawa. The thing is, we've seen this show before. Profitable federalism. The CAQ says they are not separatists. Well, fair enough. Although Philippe Couillard points out that Legault has no real attachment to Canada. I cannot disagree. Seems to me, though, their appetite for squeezing more juice from the federal orange might just be insatiable. Some good news and bad news this week from a study on our city. It compared Montreal to 15 other North American cities. The good news is that the quality of life here in Montreal ranks high, but economically the city lags behind in 14th place. And Montreal is dead last when it comes to the number of people living below the poverty line. And previous studies have found that those struggling economically are likely to be Anglos and allophones. Now, the city has paid a price for years of language struggle and political uncertainty. The flight of private capital has been astounding. Recovery has been slow and eventually, well, something's got to give. Finally, how to address the big Anglo brain drain? Well, Quebec and McGill are working together to figure out how to keep Anglos from leaving Quebec after university graduation. Two out of three grads leave. We all know why. The perception for many is that their French will never be well, quite good enough or their last name isn't quite right. Isn't it great that as a community, we are getting so much love? And I can't deny the fact that you like me right now. You like me. Wonder why. Something's up. But will they still love us in the morning? I'm Barry Wilson. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out our weekly poll on Facebook. We want to know what you think.